Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that identify which of the following is a function. And here, you have to see these two diagrams and also you have to identify that which of the following graphs is a function. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, in a function, members of domain do not repeat so for every value of x there is only one corresponding value of y that is y values can be repeated but x values cannot be repeated and also we can check this by performing a vertical line test here if a vertical line intersects the graph at one point only, then it is a function. And if it intersects the graph at more than one point, then it is not a function. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the first part, we are given a mapping, its domain is the set containing the elements minus 3, 6, 7 and 11 and range is the set containing the elements 2, 5, minus 8 and 4. And here the relation can be written as the set containing the ordered pairs minus 3, 2, minus 3, minus 8, 6, 5, then 7, 4 and 11, 4. Now we know that in a function for every value of x there is only one corresponding value of y but here minus 3 corresponds to two values of y that is 2 and minus 8 or we can say here x value minus 3 is repeated therefore this relation is not a function. Now let us start with the second part. Here domain is the set containing the elements 6, 4, 3 and 1 and range is the set containing the elements minus 2, minus 3, 5 and 7 and here the relation is the set containing the ordered pairs 6, minus 2, 4, 5 the next ordered pair is 3, minus 3 And the last one up there is 1, 7. Now here you can see each element of x corresponds to exactly one element of y. That is 6 corresponds to minus 2, 4 corresponds to 5, 3 corresponds to minus 3, and 1 corresponds to 7. So, this relation is a function. Or we can say, here no x value is repeated. Therefore, this relation 
is a function. Now in the third part, we are given a graph. Now here you can see the points 0, 1 and 0, minus 1 on the graph. So here x is equal to 0 corresponds to two values of y that is 1 and minus 1. It means here x value that is 0 is repeated. So it is not a function. And now let us start with the fourth part. Now to see if it is a function, we use vertical line test. Now from the key idea, we know that if a vertical line intersects the graph at one point only, then it is a function. And if it intersects the graph at more than one point, then it is not a function. So here, let us draw a vertical line. Now here we have drawn a vertical line and we see that this line intersects the given curve at one point only. So it is a function. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.